Welcome back to another episode of Real Estate Talk. I'm Jordan Conrad, an associate broker and home builder with Perry Wellington Realty. I'm here to give you a real estate market update, whether you're buying, selling, or just curious about the real estate market. Today, we're going to be specifically talking about interest rates and how they were affected by the Federal Reserve's decision to change the Federal Reserve's uh, interest rate. We're also going to be talking about how the jobs report affected mortgage rates. Finally, I'm going to give you some tips and tools for spring selling season and how these mortgage rates are going to affect that. So stay tuned and we'll get right into the video. Okay, so here we're looking at the Federal Reserve's press release from February 1st of this year. So what they point out here is that job gains have been robust in recent months and unemployment rate has remained low. The big thing here that they're talking about is that inflation has eased over the past couple months, um, but it still remains somewhat elevated. So the jobs portion is gonna be important later in the video. So the big take home here is that the Federal Reserve in this next section in purple, they are basically uh, making a decision at this point to increase the rate 25 basis points. So this is less than they've done in previous months. So for example, in December, they did a 50 basis point rate increase. And in November, they did a 75 basis point increase. So they're slowly starting to, you know, uh, decrease the rate of these basis point increases. And this is a result of inflation starting to cool off. And so these uh, Federal Reserve uh, rates have a direct correlation with the 10 year treasury, which is what mortgage rates follow. And so what we saw is that the 10 year treasury rate actually moved down on this news because it seems like the Federal Reserve is starting to ease their monetary policy. They're not being so harsh. Um, and we're going to see that reflected in the interest rates as well. So next, we're going to take a look at the jobs report because we got some interesting news uh, on February 3rd. And uh, pay attention to these dates because this report came out on the 1st. We're going to see how mortgage weight rates went down and uh, we're going to see the response to the jobs report. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this article from CNBC and you can see the date February 3rd. This came out and this is looking at the January jobs report. So the jobs came in at 517,000 when they were anticipated to be 187,000 from the market estimate. The unemployment rate fell to 3.4%, whereas the estimate was for it to fall to 3.6%. So in respect to a jobs, a jobs report, uh, this is really good news for jobs, but what this shows is that uh, this could be you know, a sign of the economy heating back up. So more people uh, getting jobs and less unemployment means that the economy is better and that may contradict what we're seeing with uh, the inflation rates coming down. So this is kind of uh, a signal to the Federal Reserve that, hey, maybe we shouldn't be decreasing rates so much and maybe we should um, you know, not consider you know, pausing or keeping these 25 basis point uh, hikes. You know, maybe we need to do another 50 or 75 basis point hike. So this is really important and we're gonna go now and look at uh, these uh, mortgage reports on Zillow. So what we're looking at here first is the 30 year fixed, uh, so we're looking at conventional loan, we're looking at a one year time frame. And this is on the Zillow Mortgage app. 
it's a really great app. Um, there's payment calculators that you can basically see what your mortgage payment's going to be based on uh, what the interest rate is currently and what your property taxes are. You can even put in what your homeowner's insurance is and it'll basically spit out a uh, monthly payment for you. So it's really cool uh, if you're considering uh, purchasing a home or you're currently looking. Uh, so you can see back in August of last year, uh, you know, rates were approaching 7%. And then as uh, we started to see some relief in the inflation, uh, those interest rates started to come down. So we were actually seeing rates in the high fives. And uh, what happened, and we're going to look uh, more closely at the one month rate. So look at that here. And so when that February 1st uh, Fed report came out, we saw those interest rates decrease substantially. Um, so we were headed towards, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, 5.5%. And then they quickly jumped about a half percent back up uh, right when we got that jobs report. Again, showing that, hey, maybe, uh, you know, this inflation is, uh, not cooling off as much as we expected and maybe the you know the feds going to get a little bit more aggressive um, because everything that we we're seeing on february 1st was that you know, the Fed, the federal reserve uh, may be taking a more easy monetary policy which doesn't seem to be the case here so next we're going to be taking a look at an article here uh, mara actually found uh, this article uh, mara's on my real estate team and uh, I thought it was really good considering the time of year. So typically what we see is after Valentine's Day, uh, we start to see an uptick in our business. Uh, you know, people really start to uh, prepare to list their homes. Uh, people start getting those pre-approval letters to get ready to purchase. And so, um, you know, in Pennsylvania, spring and summer are our main uh, seasons for real estate. And so, again, you know, if you've been sitting on the sidelines, uh, you know, interest rates, you know, we're starting to see some relief. Um, you know, we may see those tick back up a little bit or they may con continue to come down. I think we're going to see them continue to come down despite what we're seeing in the jobs market. Um, I think that, uh, you know, we've been seeing a trend with the inflation cooling off. And uh, so, you know, now may be a good time, whether you're a buyer or a seller, to get back in the market. Maybe you had your home on the market before, um, but we're getting ready for spring selling season. Locally, we have seen uh, homes starting to come on the market um, at a quicker pace, and we're starting to see more houses go under contract uh, than we have been uh, over the winter months. And so the next piece is, you know, should I buy a home now? And, you know, that's really a question that, uh, you know, you need to take some careful consideration with, um, you know, mainly looking at, um, you know, maybe for renting, what's the uh, monthly rent price that you can afford? Maybe use that Zillow mortgage calculator and see what, uh, you know, what your mortgage, um, the current mortgage rate uh, now uh, you'd be able to afford, um, you know, purchase price wise. And... You know, certainly, um, you know, home ownership's, you know, one of the best forms of, um, you know, building wealth. And, you know, you can certainly put your money to better use than, um, you know, putting it towards rent payments. And so you can build some equity over time. Um, you know, the mortgage rates aren't uh, great right now, but uh, there's always the potential to refinance later in time. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't bank on that. Uh, you know, certainly you need to be able to afford your currently your current monthly payments, uh, but um, certainly down the road, that's something that you can consider. And uh, you know, after you've built some equity in the home, um, that's certainly not a bad idea. Um, so I thought that article did a good thing of you know tying everything together with you know what we're seeing, you know what we're preparing for. So. Um, we'll wrap up here, but uh, 
If you like this video, please consider subscribing, uh, like the video, uh, it really helps the channel. And uh, if nothing else, I will see you again next time. We're gonna try to uh, continue these market update videos on a weekly basis um, so that we can keep bringing you, uh, you know, information and news uh, as it comes out, uh, especially going into spring selling season. So uh, that's all I have for today. Have a great day.